Hello everyone, All Things Reviews, and today we're going to be looking at the 1999 Porsche Carrera. Very nice, you know, car, and this actually will be for sale, so <clears throat> first link down below in the description if you want to check it out to buy it, located in California, and we'll be discussing the car. I'm not that much of a car person, like in terms of technicality, so I'll just be showing the functionality, I guess, from someone who with limited knowledge you know beautiful looking car make sure to please like comment and subscribe and you know help get this channel up if this is something you'd be interested in let me know what other cars if you guys like this what not and we're just going to be going into front of it open up the hood go into the interior then talk about you know on the dashboard and the infotainment center then kind of look at the back we won't be taking the top off but you can um i just don't know how to do it <laughs> so guys you know it so does let's have get a, started with the video i don't want to expose myself so i'm not going to <laughs> show the plates but you know let's go kind of on here you could see the end that you could see it have uh i don't know what it's for i just know especially for back in the day it was really fast you have the side lights on both ends and when you're doing left and right on the turn signals this as well helps with the indicator as well as these are the big headlights and of course in the middle you do have the porsche logo right there really nice you know beautiful this is where you would fill up the gas so you just open it push the lever so it does have the gas on the front and actually when you open this up you have your storage right here and on the back is actually where the engine is so it's one of these you know and this is the top as you could see this car is maybe five feet tall so it's not the biggest car and this would be the sizer right there that's the interior which we will be discussing into detail so let's pop open this right, and, and show you what so when you in order to actually open this thing you have to pull it up like this and there's gonna be uh, a black lever somewhere that you push up that opens up the latch so this is where the latch would be so there's a mechanism that would lock it in place and then this you push it it would push up when you're actually clicking you know to open up this latch that's basically what that is and here's your storage area so this is the trunk you have this is where the spare tire is right here and you have exposed parts of the engine like oh uh, yeah exposed parts of the engines right here the fluid right here for the washing i believe this is the uh coolant I believe that's what that is. Uh, I'm not too sure. And then you have this little bay right here, which exposes the car battery right there. That's what that shows. And, you know, has exposed some of the wiring. I'm like I said, I'm not a mechanic person, so I don't know the full extent of, <laughs> of it. But, you know, I could show it that has some of the tubing right there and you have some extra storage right here for like some sort of disc or something and your spare tire and as you can see not a whole lot of space but it does have a storage you know how many Porsches you see have storage so we're gonna pop it down and that's how it goes down and one more click put it in place and that's just like that so let's actually open the inside and you know look at the interior so when you open up you're greeted on both ends with carrera and this has adjusted um for the seats as you can see power steering right here or, you know powered seats on both ends i'll double check and this is how you open the back and the front right here so this is how you would open the back side which is actually where the engine is and you have the three different level modes and uh, let's see and that's how you open the back right here and as you can see this is where the engine is and the fan you know the hydrocoil i don't know all this stuff but i know that it does have powered pistons that you could push it up and down on just like that so this is the powered seating and this is the inside of it you have on the center console extra storage manual handbrake uh y'all know how to do that i don't have to show you you have 
seat belt on both ends speakers right there and you know if you were to open this carrera just like that shows it and this is the back which <laughs> i'm not gonna say is the most comfortable back you know it, it does have four seatings which most cars like this don't but definitely i wouldn't recommend for adults like this would be good if you had two kids and you can take the top off and it's one of these buttons right here you have the sun visors and you have the airbags um right here so what would i say this is the keys right here to it as you can see it's very simple just one button to lock the car and you use the keys to lock and unlock it manually otherwise you can see this is for the windshield wipers right here sort of basic actually they're nothing special you do have the porsche hubcaps right there on each side that's really nice this is what the inside and the brake looks like and as far as suspension goes really nice on the suspension you know you think for a little car like this it couldn't do much but this bad boy can actually do quite a lot and as you can see this little curve right here there's actually the, all the mechanisms to hide the top so then you could take it off and ride without the top so this you know is easy to take apart and you do have this little windshield on the back of it and i believe that would be it for now for the review so let's talk about you know the good and the bad about kind of it looking at it you have your top speed right there you have you know the amount of rpms it could do up to 7000 weather right there time and it is dual as you could see that's the manual and that's the automatic so there's a way to switch it and then you have the five let's see if it zooms in levels on the coolant as you can see this is what the actual um, infotainment center looks like in this um porsche you have right here for the power the power window wind windshields power windshields to here to on the back because it does you know it is a convertible you can't take the top off as well uh this we added <laughs> that's not there it doesn't have cup holders as you could see the actual shift for you know the different uh modes as you can see it's in park right now when i turn it on it's going to be on drive as well as the you know um radio right here and a couple of other buttons which this would be for your heating right there um i don't know what these three do honestly this is your cigarette or for your phone right here your cigarettes are for here a little storage and then you have your disc so if you want to listen to your disc you have four different channels to choose from your windshield right here see so you can wash it and then add some more water your cruise control right here so up would be accelerate it decelerate it and then you press this button to keep it right there your turn signals right there left right high beams and then temporary high beams would go right there and then as you can see this is the opening for the actual ac and heating on both sides and you do get two storage areas on each side of it and this is where your airbag would be and this nice lever that opens the door and as well as adjustments on this side that would adjust your windshield on both ends and then you, of course you have your hazards which would work like that which you know i will show later on so let's start this thing up and one more time this is exactly sounds. how it drives you can hear the engine you know it sounds beautiful uh, i've never <laughs> done a video and dro driven so it, it's a little hard i just wanted to you know kind of show it without exposing too much this is the steering wheel as you can see it steers really nice you know both sides you could easily do with one hand you know you could even hold the camera with the second just wanted to re-show so this what would one I more time a, you know score i would call this car a eight out of ten reason being fast 
nice sleek luxury you have the porsche brand at one of the cheaper options that you can get for a porsche brand as of right now and it is going up in value porsches do go up in value over time if they're held on a good condition you know great nice reliable safe fun car um only thing is the seating i wish the colors on the interior and the seatings on the back were different you know i wish they had more of a space this car wasn't meant to you know hold your groceries really that much <laughs> it is more meant for fun wish they had a more secure feature on the gas windshield's a little thing and this when it breaks this breaks pretty often so that's kind of a hefty repair you know and i wish here it had more light but it is 1999 so what what more would you you know want from and that? by the way if there's anything i missed please make sure to let me know you know this is my first time doing a car review so i'm not completely gifted in that sense <laughs> But, you know, we after having this car for a couple of years, I'd say what's really good about it is it's really reliable. You know, for a car like this at, of its age, it doesn't have too many issues at all. Runs smooth and drives smooth. You could see it handles, you know, there's kind of a raise right there. It handles everything really nice, really well. You know, it's a great car even at today to own. And, you know, Porsche is just one of those brands that you can't go wrong with owning, you know, they're high, they make high quality stuff. They have a very beautiful, you know, car. The only bad side now I can think of is, you know, tires do get worn off faster because it is being a sports car, you know, the tires are do get worn off faster. And a lot of stuff still compared to your normal car will be, you know, worn out and not as good. So that definitely, you know, I would say is a negative. It has comfortable seating on the front. The back end sucks. Uh, I wouldn't recommend more than two people to ever ride in it. <laughs> if you need more, you're, you're gonna have to fit and it's gonna be miserable for the people in the back. This doesn't have a lock. I wish it did, you know, or some way of automatically locking it. That would be great because, you know, people do steal gas. That's a common occurrence. You know, I do like that this is physically mounted on the windshield like that, you know, and so it doesn't take up space. So you have more clearance on your actual windows and even the steering wheel, you know, is really nice. And the way it's lined up with the interior and the seating, you know, um, personally, I wish they did choose a different color than the gray, like a leather, like a brown or a white, like a cream or a brownish color would look amazing on it i'm not a huge fan of the gray but you can you know do that you can customize it it's easy to do and so this has been all things reviews 1999 porsche carrera please if you have any questions do let me know happy to answer them like i said this will be for sale on ebay and i don't have an amazon link for this but i'll have an amazon link for some models similar to this <laughs> If you want to get that to help me support it out please like comment subscribe if you have anyone who would be interested please make sure to share this car is located in california but open to all sorts of shipping so please don't let that discourage you just doing one more tour right here so you guys can get an understanding of it really beautiful car and i will see you guys until next week we do all sorts of reviews on legos anything basically legos chairs electronics gaming cars so much more cars we can do so until next time uh bye, -bye.